George Haydock was born in 1556, the youngest son of Vivian and Helen Haydock of Cotton Hall. When Elizabeth I became Queen just two years later in 1558, she became Supreme Governor of the new Church of England and reimposed its power over Catholics. All public figures and church officials had to swear an oath of allegiance and penalties were placed upon those who persisted in following the Pope and in celebrating Mass. Those who refused to attend Anglican church services were known as recusants. Catholic Mass became illegal in England in 1559 and in 1570 Queen Elizabeth was excommunicated by the Pope. She imposed stricter laws which made it treasonous to be a Catholic and these penal laws meant that sheltering or helping priests could be punished by death. It was against this background of persecution that our blessed George Haydock grew up in Cotton. In 1573, 20 years after the death of his wife, George's father Vivian Haydock decided to commit his life to the Catholic faith. He handed over the Cotton Hall estate to his eldest son William and took his two younger sons Richard and George to Douai in France. Vivian later returned to Lancashire as a missionary priest and is said to have been buried under the chapel in Cotton Hall. But why did he go to Douai? George Haydock's mother's family was related by marriage to Cardinal William Allen of Rossall. Douay, the English college, was a Catholic seminary for the training of priests set up by Cardinal Allen in 1568. Of course, such training was forbidden in England. Youngest brother George was ordained a priest in December 1581. When he returned to England in 1582, he was betrayed and quickly arrested and imprisoned in the Tower of London. On the 5th of February 1584, he was charged with having conspired against Queen Elizabeth I, whom he said was a heretic. He remained loyal to the Pope and so his fate was sealed. He was sentenced to death and hanged at Tyburn on the 12th of February 1584. George Haydock was still alive when he was cut open and disemboweled. His skull is rumoured to have been brought back to the chapel at Cotton Hall. When the family estate was sold in the early 1700s, Blessed George Haydock's skull was taken to Lane End's house in Maudsley, home of one of the sisters of the last squire of Cotton. It remained there for many years in the priest's hiding place, adjoining the chapel at the top of the house. This photo was taken in 1906. George Haydock's martyrdom is of course still remembered by the sharing of the dedication in the naming of the church in Cotton, St Andrew and Blessed George Haydock. <laughs>